Hello, welcome to Tully River Quail. It's a cold day in Quail here. Um, we had a big tree fall on our homestead here, knocked out some power lines. So we've been without some power for a few days. So we've had to run our our brooder and everything off of a generator. Now we've been talking about putting in a uh, service, a transfer switch and everything and just never got to it, but I'm doing that now. I just wanted to share with you kind of how we're doing it because there's a couple things that might be interesting to you that uh, you might want to consider as well. So we have a pair of these WEN 3800 watt generators and a parallel kit it's an inverter generator and I want you to note the plugs so there's two plugs here and then there's an a TT 30p 30 amp that's standard for um, hookups for RVs and stuff you also have the 110 plugs. This is an auto start. You just push the button and it starts up so there's a battery in here. But these two units can connect through a parallel device that basically gives you one of these and a 50 amp service in a connection box between the two. So I have 3800 watts here. That's about 3200 watt um, useful. So I'm looking around 64 100 watt um, service that I can add to the house. So what I needed to do was get this into my power box. And so the unit that I bought from Home Depot is a Reliance transfer kit. I'll show you that downstairs. It comes with a box and it also comes with a cable and some cord. So this cable, I cut the ends off because I wanted to use the cable to go from here to the power box. And then I'm going to make a jumper using this because the transfer switch is set for 410 or 220, I'm sorry, 110 or 220. So you have a four prong, I don't have the other cable here, but there's four wires on that one. And you'll see there's four wires, four pins, prongs. This one that has the little bend in it, that's the ground. The one opposite is the white. And then this is the red and the black. Um, these are both 110 legs if you're running a 220 generator. Now our generator, I'll show you that a little bit better on this one here. This is for the outside if we wanted to add another box. But the silver one is the ground. This will be the white. This will be the black. And this will be the red over here. So the two hots are here, the neutrals here, and the ground's up here. All right, so the problem is, is how do you get from a three pin plug to a four pin connector which runs the service inside this is my solar setup um, so all the power banks and everything go here anyway i'm going to run inside and show you what that looks like and i'll show you the transfer kit and i'll show you what i'm talking about and how to do it so stand by okay here we are inside um this is the parallel kit i'm talking about this has two possible outlets. You connect these wires. These are push-in banana plugs that go into each generator. There's one for both sides. And what that does is it takes the wattage from both and gives you one outlet, basically. This has a 30-amp service and a 50-amp service. All right, so the 30-amp can only do up to, I think, 3,800 watts. That would be fine if I had two 2,000 watt generators, but I'm gonna need to use a 50 amp plug. All right, so again, this is three. Even if I wanted to go from here 
to the four wire plug, I would have to make an adapter to take the hot lead, which is this one, and then split that or bridge the black and the red together to run the four wire cable so each of the two wires are getting 110 voltage. Um, on this one, since it's a four pin connector, this is internally bridged and I want you to know that. So both of these are connected to the same black wire in here. So you don't want to do a bridge in a situation like this because it's already, if you look at the schematic, the wiring diagram, the black power from here goes to both pins. So if you were to create a, well, I guess you wouldn't need to, but if you were to try to bridge in the, in the plug itself, then you would create a short. But here you have to get the hot for both pins of the four wire uh, plug, get it from one, one pole. All right, let's go over here to the Reliance power transfer switch kit thing. Um, we wanted 10 circuits. This is the only one that had 10 circuits. You can see this is for um, up to 8,000 watts. Suits our needs. It's a uh, 30 amp connector, but we're only using a 30 amp service because our generators only have 30 amp. Um, you can see how this has two, two 10 poles on here. You can take this pin out and make these single amp, take these bridges off, and I'll show you that up here. All right, so what I've done is I've drilled a hole in the side of the house. This comes from my shop, comes down here, comes into the unit here, and then connects to the red, the black, the ground, and the neutral. And then these are the line switches. So you don't need a way, you don't even have to turn off the main because if this is in line, it's going to take the line feed from the main breaker. If it's in generator, it'll take the feed from the main. So you don't have to worry about shutting off the main, though. I think we're going to do it anyway. Anyway, this pin comes out. So you can take this pin out by unscrewing it and then moving it. And then you can take this off. So you'll have 10 circuits here. All right. So this comes down. All these wires... We're going to get put in this tube. This tube is going to have a 90 degree here and here. It's going to go up. So this will all be nice and conduit. And then what you do is you take the red wire that's marked with a letter. You can see it's repeated. I don't know if you can see that, but it's repeated so that no matter if you cut the wire, you can see... This one says, well, this one right here says F, 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 F. It's hard to see. Anyway, so you take the circuits that you want. Let's say I wanted, well, we'll use this one over here because this is a shop. So what I would do is I would take, I use number four here, right? So I would take this, connect it to the red. I would put the red in here, and then the black I would connect to this. So let's say that's circuit number one, that I'm going to use number four, that I want to power through circuit number one A on this, once I remove this clip. Then I would find the red A, run it through here, put the red in here, and then the black A would just use a wire nut and connect to the black here. That way it still gets power, goes through everything. It goes through this breaker panel into here and then down here. So it won't get power 
there's no chance of back feed with this. Usually there's a main switch that you have to put up somewhere up here that will either allow you to run the generator or the main power and it's an interlock. It's, a, it's what it's called. There's a metal plate that slides so you're not allowed to have it do one to the other. But this transfer switch is automatic so you don't have to worry about uh, doing that because of these this double breaker system all right because it's only going to get power from the generator it's only going to get power from the line these are interrupter switches or interlock switches pretty much on their own the cool thing about this with the 10 circuits is it also gives you an amp meter on both sides so you want to have this balanced you don't want to have the left side you know up to 3000 and then this side only down to 500 so you want to balance your load so if you're going to put a furnace um, on here or a freezer or a fridge maybe you put a a freezer here and a fridge here that way these five are both getting that startup load and then maybe the microwave and coffee maker some lights lights stuff like that so there you have it folks i just wanted to show you the basic wiring setup here the trick is is to know that if you're going to go from a three prong um, outlet on the generator to a four prong that using a 50 amp plug you don't bridge it using a 30 amp it's called a 30 ttp or tt 30p or even a LR30 or L1430R um, to the MEMA 5. You know, there's different codes. But the four prong plug to the three prong plug, you're going to need to bridge that. Um, that's if I wanted to supply this box with just one generator. I would just use that little adapter. And sometimes they make them in a dog bone where you have one plug on one end that would plug into the generator and the other one would plug into a four but you want to get one that's bridged so that you can get both the red feed and the black feed both running at 110 if you don't have a 220 generator all right that's enough electrician stuff for you today stay free stay warm it's all quelled tully river over and out